do I believe that they can't, that they're, they're bad people? No, I believe that they are productive citizens just like everybody else. But I think that when it comes to foundation, it should be heterosexual. I don't think lesbians are, like when I was young, I ain't gonna lie, I'm guilty of imagining two beautiful women doing some freaky shit with it. You know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't above all that. I would just, I think just like that, probably if I thought about it now, it'd probably be something good for me. But um, I have to get out of that thought process because it's just as inhumane to me as two men. It should be. I think that we need to stop um, accepting one end of the the <laughs> the thing uh, of, of how we look at life. I think both are issues. Now, does it mean that I probably wouldn't do business or have uh, social topics? No, I would definitely have social topics. Uh, if gay men come on a panel, I'm not going to, like, it's not the end of the world. Gay women, it's not the end of the world. I just think that what we need right now is heterosexual uh, uh, leadership. Leader, that's like complete, the standard should be heterosexual. So I don't hate nobody. Don't if see a gay dude walking down the road. I ain't going to throw a rock at him. Or no, I ain't going to do no crazy shit. But I just think that this is a problem right here when you see um, I, I like I said, I didn't look at it. I want to freestyle it. So everything that I see, is going to be more or less on how this looks uh, for black men. That's all I got to say. Oh, hey, how are you? Oh, who's that? <laughs> who, 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 who's, who's laying on your shoulder? Oh, that's my son. Yeah. Oh, hi. You look. Yeah. You, you don't look that. You look that. You don't look that much young, older than him. No, well, he's eight. I'm 28. Oh, you had him when you were 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's your biological son, correct or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What's your name, yeah. love? My name is Tristan. Tristan. Okay. Yes, Tristan, ma'am. Where, where you call me from? Louisiana. Louisiana. What do you do for a living, babe? Uh, right now, currently, I'm a server, and I'm going to school for real estate as of right now. Uh, I'm doing it based out of Texas, but uh, cause that's where I lived at at first to go to school. So now, uh, you know, I don't know how it works. I don't know if I go to, you know, if I wanted to get it for Louisiana, do I have to switch everything over? So I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but. You just moved to yeah. Louisiana? Yeah, well, I just moved back. Um, I was raised here, so I, I went to Texas to go to school. And then uh, that was back in 2016, and then I moved back here. I want to say like over the summer. Okay. Yeah. What's your zodiac sign, Tristan? Uh, I'm a Cancer. Cancer. Yes, and ma'am. so this is Tristan, 28. Louis. This your only child? Yes, ma'am. Eight year old son. Hi, Kendra kids. Hi, sweetheart. Hey. Yeah. Man, we we, we watch our show all the time. We watch our show all the time. Like do you want? Do you have full custody? Yeah. Well. Kind of in a sense, it's not like a like a court thing. We just me and his mom are really close, so we just uh, I have him like throughout some of the years, and then she'll take him. It's it's a stuff like that. Okay, so yeah. Tristan, twenty eight, Louisiana, cancer. He's a server, also doing real estate, and has an eight year old son. What kind of woman are you looking for? Uh, so I'm not looking for a woman. I'm actually gay. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So listen, some of the cousins in the comment section were saying it. I have I have been wrong before. So I, I try to just I'd rather be wrong than make the assumption and then yes, ma'am. I'm wrong in that way, right? I mean, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say. So yes, how long have you been dating men? Uh honestly, I would say my honestly my whole life. I wouldn't say my whole life dated men, but I've always known that I was, you know, different from everybody else. I will say this. Any woman that knowingly pursues a man that with that has that is gay or by whatever they whatever the names they want to call, they're they're all gay to me. Any woman that has full knowledge of a man being gay and she pursues him should not be allowed to fuck heterosexual men. She's like in purgatory world, uh, like some form of a, pur- a purgatory world when it comes to dating. She's gonna have she's gonna have to be a uh, appendage of the LGBT community because I don't see how you could ever 
place yourself in this circumstance because he is, I don't know what, and most people would say, well, you know, if they're able to communicate and, and get through to the kid and he's accepting of it, the child literally has no choice. They don't know no better. The, ba- the child's only eight. This is when they start exorbitant information and they're, they're, they're coming to some type of understanding. So they don't, he wouldn't know. I don't even think his father would even explain it where, you know, son, heterosexuality is the most natural form of how people should have a union and uh, grow and, and build a populace. Um, he was, he's going to give a skewed reality to the son and he's going to think that's normal. He's only eight. So any woman that has, unfortunately, if she didn't know, she found out, she's still in the same situation to me. I'm sorry. That's just how, that's how life operates in my eyes. Um, you should do your research. Some of y'all just for fuck guys because they have nice accents. You think that I care. You think that I believe that you took the time to actually get to know a man nowadays? No. You can have a nice accent. He can have a nice car. He don't even have to have any of that. He can just be homeless. And if he looks good to you, you'll fuck him. You'll, you'll call it, I see potential. Dude will be 38. Nothing. He'll talk about his, 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 his good old days in his 20s where he actually had some things. And she'll believe based on what he acquired in his, in his, in his 20s or so and think that, oh, he can get it again. Well, why, why wasn't that a requirement for him, for himself, prior to talking to you? And why did you accept that? But back to this, if you are, uh, this is the second video that Kendra G has had where the guy expressed later in the video that the two, his, I think it was two, his two um, baby mamas knew he was gay prior. There's something wrong for a woman that would accept a man that's gay. There ain't no such thing as no bisexual man. Look, my father told me it, you can be a bridge builder and you will not be considered a bridge builder. But if you suck one dick, you're a dick sucker. So that's how it is. That's the standard. Some of these women that like we want to play these games know these men are gay and they will have full families with these guys knowing for whatever reason, <laughs> he's gay. Now, I would like to know what's psychologically wrong with those women that do that. I, I want to really have conversations because you don't really see these women talking about it. They, they're not going to be open about the fact that they would talk to a gay guy. They will never be open about that. But clearly, there's men coming out confidently talking about it like it's nothing, like it's normal. And to the point where, what's up, uh, Musa? To the point where, they can be in front of their eight-year-old son and say they're gay. This is sick. Uh, it was just a, I had like a, my family so uh, about certain stuff. Like they so stuck in their ways. So it's like how they would treat me for like, like if I would say certain words or like if I would put my hands on my hip, like if I was just too tired or if I cried too much, everybody was always down my throat about everything so it was just like it was i i I wouldn't say that's not why i had a kid but it was like i felt like i had to be with a woman in order to please everybody so what he's saying is he out of trauma even after he became a dick sucker he decided to say you know what there's still pressure that i need to be with a woman in front of his own kid he's saying that you're you're only here due to the fact that I had to prove to a trauma that I endured as a kid that I you know I should have a kid and be with a woman even 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 with my psychological disposition with where I stand in life I still had I still felt peer pressured to be with a woman there's no substance behind it I'm only doing it only do only due to the fact that it was something that my parents wanted for me or whatever. But he's making it seem like now the things that he, his examples were 
for the simple fact that his parents probably were strict because, you know, crying a lot, putting your hands on your hip and all that stuff. I don't, I wouldn't classify that as, you know, you're going to be gay. There had to be something else going on. And I, th this is the tricky thing about these people. There are some deeper things that happened that they're not going to point out. They're going to, they're going to say the things that we, that would make you think led to that. No, there was probably some things that he got introduced to or something done to him that they won't speak on. Because he's explaining things his pa his parents didn't like him doing. And that's probably what he conceptualized as they have uh, something against gay people. And he's a child. He knows, no, he can't quantify what the, his parents are thinking. A lot of kids think growing up that they knew what their parents or knew why their parents were doing things. And they don't know until they become adults. You can't quantify the child why your parents are doing anything. You're going to assume but there could be there could be other defining reasons you don't know as a kid. So when kids say you don't know what love is, you don't know what you're getting yourself into from your parents, you don't. When we grow up and we look back, we're going to tell ourselves we didn't know shit. So unless you admire and respect your parents, you're never going to look at their guidance as a uh, restriction or uh, they don't oh they don't get it. They're not open minded. When we look back, we're going to say our parents were trying to some degree with, with the tools they were given from however they were raised. But we all can agree that we don't know. We didn't know shit or could quantify or understand things the way we do today. We can look back and say that we didn't know shit. <laughs> so um, I want to see if he's going to get more. Uh, I, I want to see if he's going to be honest because those are not applicable <laughs> to me. I'm a big family person. I hate like hurting their feelings. So it was just like I I got with his mom. We were together for like two years. And uh she was actually the first person I told I was gay because I feel like she was owed their respect. But she was like, oh I kinda knew it. And then it was it just went from there. So yeah. So you guys had so you dated to please your family. Yes, ma'am. And then, so you had your son. Mm -hmm. And then when did you tell your family that you're just a gay man? Uh, He was born in 2015. I think I told them like in 2018. It was I made like a public post because um, it was like a post I posted on Facebook and then some of my family like commented. Like my uncle was like, oh, really? You know, I just knew what his oh, really meant. You know, it, it was just, it was a whole bunch of stuff. But after that, I, I didn't care no more after a couple of years. Okay, so That's men okay. only. Got you. Thank you Amen. for your Thank transparency. You. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so now let's get to it. What kind of men are you looking for? Um, That's kind of hard. But, well, not really. So I don't care what race uh, a man is, honestly. I'm open to any any race. Um, I want someone that's, I don't know, kind of like taller than me, uh, like fit. I'm not like fit myself like I used to be. After COVID, I gained a lot of weight for some reason. So the female said she kind of knew. Why did she still pursue him? If she kind of knew. If there was an inkling that he could be gay. What made her still accept it enough to say, you know what, I'm going to have kids by this this man. See, one would have to ask her questions about knowing or having an inkling, because that would be like enough for you. Most women, the way they act, they, they, you know, I feel like that's enough for you to stop fucking with that guy. Like, I don't, I, I don't understand if what he's saying is true what made her continue um and he said that before he even had the child he let everybody know oh i think after because he said 15 i think he said 2018. well even whether it was before or after his the woman that he had a child by knew and he was she was the first person but if she knew and if he's saying that his family members thought there might be some gay shit going on with him they never be you know but i think I think families kind of know what's going on in the family. So if some things start happening, 
they their way of trying to overshadow what they know is really going on is just looking at mannerisms and characteristic traits, knowing that they might have a family member that might be doing things or they themselves might be uh, having things that shouldn't be around kids. It could be porn or his friends could be having sketchy parents that introduce something. It could be along the lines of, but if you don't have communication with your kid, they're not going to be able, they're not going to know if they can even come to you about anything that may be kind of odd going on because they think they might get an ass whooping. That could be another reason why I say I'm 100% physical discipline because that could be the very reason why your kid doesn't say shit to you. It could be the very reason why you could have prevented something because they feel like now, because they don't really know why every time they do something wrong, it leads to physical pain that, you know what, they're going to start letting that bleed off to if it's something that they could help them. They're going to say, you know what, I think that I might get an ass whooping just for even saying this. There's so many things that happens when it comes to that type of uh, discipline. If parents aren't explaining other than that they just did wrong and why it's wrong and what it means and what it could do to you in the future and why it's important for you to have uh, be responsible and why you should do these things and why it's, why, why it's uh, mandatory to have uh, consistency in your life and it helps build a character, helps build structure, they're, they're not going to never know. So like I said, what's unhealthy can bleed off to disrupt healthy. A lot of people that grew up in chaotic settings well, now, now later in their life, they think healthy is more suspicious. They don't even believe that there is a easier way of exploring life or dealing with life. They assume that it has to be chaotic. So if somebody, even if you're in a room full of healthy people, you're going to feel like you're disconnected. You'll, you'll find the other unhealthy person in the party. And for some way, somehow you'll find your way towards them because they're going to be doing things and display certain characteristics that will set them apart from everybody else. And you're going to find some commonality. And by the end of the party, you're going to be connected with that person. They get it. You don't even, you, you, you start being resilient to healthy. You won't even believe that community. The reason why communication is such a, a debated thing even today is because people believe that they communicate. So they think, well, I've communicated plenty of times and I still got cheated on and hurt. And no, you didn't. A lot of people have uncommunicated expectations. They just believe that people should know. And we already know that if we ask the, if we ask anybody in the world, hey, are you just like most people? They're going to say, fuck no. But for some reason, they expect you to read their mind. So back to this dude, there's a lot of circumstances where when these, when, 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 when it comes to children redefining who they are, before they become mature enough to, to really be able to gauge that, that it's because of some interference that was un, unnatural and unhealthy. And because parents don't know how to talk to their kids, especially back in the day, if he's 28, it was still the 90s. Parents weren't really talking to their kids like that. They got all their, they got all their influence from TV, music, friends. Um, most parents back in the day worked so much, worked, to, worked a lot, and they... They they told their basically made their kids become parents and say, watch your brothers and sisters. You better not open that, that door. I'll be back at eight. You don't you don't go to that door or answer it until you, you know, I'm coming in. You don't do nothing. I live I, uh, for, you know, they have a task. And if anything happens, like I said earlier, they're going to be disciplined like they are the parent. They think that when they're old enough to know how to wash the dishes and cook noodles and hot dogs and shit that that they they they're old enough to to watch two other siblings for some reason and they're supposed to have that type of you know authority over their brothers and sisters you know damn well your brother or sister might have some type of uh give you some type of leverage but they're not going to let you get that full control that you would have, that the parent would have. So, you know, there's already going to be difficulty trying to manage a kid as a 13, 14 year old. And they're your brothers and sisters. There's only may, they may be a, the same year, a year younger, a couple of years. But they're not going to know that you're the authority figure like the parent. 
So they're bound to make mistakes and you and, and parents should know that. So when you discipline the oldest child as if they should have had that responsibility in the first place, what do you think that does to a kid? But back to this, um, <laughs> this dude. I don't even want to watch this whole video because I don't want to know his type. Uh, I wish she would have got more into like, but but I guess she gets a lot. She when when Kendra, I've seen when Kendra starts asking questions. Um, I saw her do it with a female because the woman was kind of low key saying that you know every woman has the ability or they they could easily be gay. And then when Kendra says I'm not gay, the the, the chick started saying, "How do you know you're not gay? You never tried to be." That's their that is like the that's their version of like this like this manipulation they're trying to do ask trick questions like if you ain't never do it how do you know you really don't like it well i don't do it because the standard would be that heterosexuality would be something that makes sense because you have a child that right there is a standard for why that would make more sense than anything else That 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 was the Sanders stat. Well, you know, two people that get together that are of the opposite opposite sex can procreate. And that makes more sense. The further you go back in time, that had to be the standard because we have a lot of people today. If it was a standard or if it was an option, it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't have lasted anyway because no populace would ever last outside of the first generation of the if there was not if they wasn't already interfering with hetero the heterosexual communities back in the day we all know if it started from a group of people that is it for them we wouldn't know <laughs> we would could probably by all like people that dig up these bones could say hey, there was a, a country that had male bones but it seems like that was it for them. And there was a there was a pop there was a country that had a whole bunch of female bones. But it was only first generation, maybe bleed off if they kept going into the heterosexual communities and manipulating them into doing gay shit. But other than that, there's no examples of a populace of just gays existing for more than one and a half generations. The only reason that they're even able to be amongst us is because we're allowing it. Now, we all got someone in the family. I don't know anybody in my family that is gay. So, but I'm not going to deny that there might be some. But the, I would say the same thing to them. I would say that they have the same judgment as everybody else. But let's, uh, I'm going I'm to tolerate this for a little longer. <laughs> I'll try. But uh, let's continue. And it was kind of like hard to get it off, but um, that's another thing. Like I, I, tall, fit. Okay, smart. they're telling me you've been here before, have you? Uh huh. Yeah, I was with uh, what's his name? Zach. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Oh, the cousins. Yep. Listen, okay, so it's, it's your first time with me. Mm -hmm. Um, the cousins remember you with Zach, and they said mm -hmm. you were here last week. Was it last week? Oh, no. I don't think it well maybe it was last week, but yeah, okay, probably so how did only, it go? How did it go when you were on with Zach? Uh it went pretty well. Zach is very smooth. I was very comfortable talking to him. Uh but as far as like people reaching out to me, I got like a couple of friend requests. Um, but then other than that, uh it was like three, maybe four different people like hit me up. They would well basically they were only just saying how uh like how they liked my conversation was acting. They liked my personality. Uh, they were just complimenting me, basically. Only maybe like one or two was more of like wanting to, uh, you know, pursue things, I guess. But one was kind of on some weird stuff. He was, he, I don't know, he was saying that, uh, I don't want to have to, well, I don't care. Nobody knows who he is, but it was, he, was basically like saying how freaky I was and like the way I was talking. Well, you didn't think that being a sketchy gay man with a son um, in your whole circumstance with the fact that you only had a child to prove to your parents through peer pressure that that's something you can do. And even now you have your son after announcing that 
he's not your son's eight. He's not going to know that you basically said that you're just a mistake. Like it's not. It's different when you know you're having sex with a woman and you have a child. Uh, but it's completely different when you're only doing it when because you want to prove that that you can have a straight situation. But you know damn well that's something that you know you can't do it because your your psychological uh, uh, illness is it, it, it took over your life. And you're only just doing it just because. I just have to just show them I can have a kid and be a woman. But your illness, yeah, clearly it didn't do anything. Clearly. And that's what you get. I don't believe nobody should be hitting you up. Why would you even introduce this into that boy's life? Now he has to know that. I know you're not going to preach like to your son that there should the standard should be heterosexuality. You're going to let him feel like if he feels like he likes guys and if he's going to do some weird shit, I don't even know, but it's going to be something that's like, that's going to, that you're literally like a, you're, you're literally ruined. You ruined his life. Basically. You ruined his life. I don't think people truly understand. Like when men, okay, you want to be gay. You want to have this illness, be your, be your life. You don't want to fix it. Okay. Don't introduce nobody into this world because you know how children are they're going to admire they're going to look at you like a superhero they're going to be understanding until they understand what they what they were what what they loved and cared about if they get the if that child uh i think the mother to reclaim uh motherhood is to completely do what some of these other uh bitches do and stop the men for seeing this this is when i think it could be acceptable if the dude is gay stop him from seeing your son if he's gay get get a boyfriend pray to god or pray to whoever the fuck you want and keep that gay ass nigga away how the hell these gay niggas get to have full coverage over their children but these men that i know for a fact that are being good men you don't you you don't want him to be part of your child's life because he don't want to be with you. These gay men are walking around with the kids and all this other crazy shit. But you will you will take a child away from a man just simply the fact it didn't work out. This is crazy. This is acceptable. Ladies, take take the children away from these faggots. He has, he, he should have no, like he just basically said that I just had this child to prove straightness to my family. And then brought up times where they got him from having his hand on his hip too long and crying a lot. Well, I do think that there should be a time limit to how much you're crying. And if you, like, what, why are you crying like for that long unless you're getting abused or something like that? There should be some standard to something, but if those were the reasons you even thought that they was judging you, that's not, you know, there was some, some deeper shit going on. You know, you was doing some things or you got introduced to them, some things that weren't right. Like it just didn't like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, basically after like, I kind of shut the conversation down, like, about numbing it down, he basically didn't talk to me no more. So basically, he was just about the sex. If yeah, most gay men are sex hypersexual. Nothing about anything else. They may say that they love being with a man, but no, it's all about sex. What did you think? <laughs> That's all. Like you, you're like what? <laughs> These people are crazy, man. Makes sense. So yeah. But the other two guys, they were like older guys. They were probably in their fifties, um, and they were just complimenting me, and we were talking. And then uh, after that, we just it just no more com uh, communication. After All right, I can't take no more of this shit. Um, <laughs> my bad, Slim. I can't go through this whole episode. <laughs>